Welcome back to Empower Black Doula. My name is Keisha. I am a birth and postpartum doula, childbirth educator, and mentor. Again, if you guys are ever interested in mentorship, needing guidance on how to get started on the business role, and also how to support your client, needing um, birth contracts, prenatal checklists, and birth plans, and things like that, you can sign up for my mentorship. Link would be provided in the description below. But let's get started into the video today. Today, we're going to be talking about Pitocin. So make sure you get a pen and paper so you can write these things down. And yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> Just a FYI as well, this is going to be a part of my induction series. So make sure you watch the two next videos as well because I'm going to break down each of the induction um, medication for you guys. So make sure you watch the two uploads after this. So today's topic is about Pitocin. Pitocin is basically a synthetic form of oxytocin. Oxytocin is a hormone that we all naturally produce, men and women. During induction, it is used as a tool to basically help labor start. A lot of times your body will kick in, um, but that is the purpose of Pitocin. Also, it can use, be used for postpartum hemorrhage as well. So after you give birth, if you are having issues with bleeding, it can help your uterus contract as well. So those are ways that Pitocin can be used. Pitocin can be used, or is typically used during an induction when you are around three or four centimeters along. Um, as a doula, I always suggest to my clients starting that Pitocin at one and going up every hour. Um, there was a study and there was even a doctor that talked about it takes about 30 to 45 minutes for Pitocin to actually, you know, react to your, your body. So by going up one every hour, it could, you know, help the Pitocin um, not be so strong on the baby so quickly and kind of give you enough time to gradually, you know, reach labor, um, to, well, reach delivery as you as you should. So that is um, some things about Pitocin. Now we're going to go over the risk and the benefits of Pitocin. So with Pitocin contractions, Pitocin contractions can sometimes cause an overstimulation of the uterus. And basically what that means for you is it can cause you to, your uterus to get really, really tired over time. And um, that is typically how postpartum hemorrhage can occur after the baby is born as well. If you are having really, really strong contractions, banging, banging, banging them out. And then after you have the baby, your uterus is just too tired to contract, to stop you know, postpartum hemorrhage. So that's another reason why they give more Pitocin during postpartum. Another thing that Pitocin can cause is with those really, really strong contractions, a lot of times what it does is it causes baby to um, lose oxygen um, flow to them. The, as, the, as you are getting Pitocin, you're getting contractions, your uterus contracting, it's contracting the placenta. And if those contractions are really strong or you're not able to get breaks in between it, it can make your baby lose oxygen. Um, which can uh, cause long-term effects um, like neurological issues and um, things like that. So, you know, oxygen flow is very important for the baby and for you, uh, but those are some of the risks of, of getting um, Pitocin, especially if you've been on it long-term. When I was doing research, I looked into it even further and they said that a lot of providers misuse Pitocin instead of giving you a break or or noticing um, that you, you know, like labor is not progressing. They'll just continue to give you more Pitocin, more Pitocin, more Pitocin, more Pitocin. And um, sometimes that can cause very, um, you know, long term effects. There was even a few studies that talked about Pitocin can be linked to postpartum depression and anxiety and um, different things like that. So those are just a few things with risk when it comes to uh, Pitocin. Pitocin has also been linked to neurological um, issues with the baby, such as having like cerebral palsy. It's um, really important to understand the risk when you go into labor, especially when you are being introduced to being in induced. Um, risk are very, very important. But everybody's labor is different. Some people may get contractions that are really intense and some may not. It all depends on your hormone uh, receptor. But that's why it's important to go really, really slow when you're starting Pitocin. <laughs> now, benefits. So benefits of Pitocin is, of course, it can initiate labor. Um, you can have a baby within 24 hours. Everybody's different. So don't, you know, some people can go days. Um, and then, of course, if medically necessary and you need Pitocin uh, to get labor started so you can have a baby, these 
methods are um, a benefit to you, but it's always yours to weigh out. Just make sure that you understand the risk and the benefits of it and discuss with your provider all of these things so that you go into it knowledgeable. All drugs come with risk, so just understand and know where you are coming from and what's going on with your body when you are experiencing these um, different things. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this video. The next video will be about Cytotec, misoprostol, or they may call it miso. So make sure you guys watch the next um, video in this series. Thank you for watching. Bye.